Comap presents Comap controls programming using the boot jumper. I am going to talk about Comap controls programming using the so called boot jumper. It is necessary to use the boot jumper in case of unsuccessful control programming, which may, for instance, happen due to an accidental cable disconnection or computer fail. If control programming was not successful, it is not possible to open connection to a control, it does not respond and control screen is blank. I'm going to show you how to deal with such situation. Let's start with ILNT control programming using the light edit software. I am in light edit now and I am about to try to open connection to a control which was not programmed successfully. Message programming was not correct is displayed and lighted it is not able to open connection to a controller as you can see. It means that I need to program my controller using the boot jumper. I'm going to programming and uh, I'm just about to select the right firmware for my ILNT AMF25 controller. OK. Yes, I would like to override set point by values from the default archive. Lighted is not able to program the unit and it means that programming using the boot jumper is necessary. Follow the instructions to program your unit. Switch off control first and close the boot loader jumper then. We call it simply the boot jumper. You can see on the picture where you can find the boot jumper on an ILNT control. Remove the cover to access the boot jumper. Open boot jumper is beneath the cover. Close the jumper. Check connection of your PC to a control then switch control on and click on OK. Now you need to wait for a while until later it starts to program your unit. OK, it is programming now. Lighted it is about to finish programming of the control now and instructions window is displayed again as you can see. Switch control off first, open the bootloader jumper and switch the control on again. Click on OK when it is done. Control programming was correct as you can see. Procedure which has been described applies to these comic controls ILNT, ICNT, IANT, and ID Lite. Simply all controls which are configured using LightEdit can be programmed in this way. Even the boot jumper is at the same position on the controls. Now I'm going to show you how to program IG and ISNT controls using ChenConfig and the boot jumper. I am in ChenConfig and I am going to program IGNT control using the boot jumper. It is important to check communication port setting using the select connection option before programming a control. It looks fine. Now I can go to File, select Firmware Upgrade and Cloning, and Firmware Upgrade. Now it's time to select the right firmware for my IGNT control and click on OK. Gen config is detecting control now, but firmware in my control is corrupted and the instructions for the boot jumper programming comes up. Here they are. Follow the instructions to program your unit. Switch off control first and close the boot loader jumper then. You can see on the picture where you can find the boot jumper on the ISNT controller. Remove the cover to access the boot jumper. Open boot jumper is beneath the cover. Close the boot jumper.
check connection of your PC to a control then. Switch control on and click on OK. Now you need to wait for a while until GenConfig starts to program your unit. OK, it is programming now. GenConfig is about to finish programming of the controller and the instructions window is displayed again, as you can see. Switch control off first, open the boot jumper and switch the control on again. Click on OK then. Read the information and click on OK. Control programming was correct and you can work with your control in the standard way now. Procedure which has been described applies to these COMEP controls. IGNT, ISNT and IMNT. Basically all controls which are configured using GenConfig can be programmed in this way. Even the boot jumper is at the same position on the controls. Now I would like to talk about programming of IDDCU controls. Use the same procedure which has been described for IG and ISNT controls for IDDCU controls too. You just need to use DriveConfig software instead of GenConfig. See the next picture for information where the boot jumper is on the IDDCU control. Remove the rubber cover to get access to the boot jumper. Thank you for watching this video.